about that and also concerned about the person, the driver, who was identified as Anne Heche. You probably know the name from TV and movies, uh, from Six Days, Seven Nights, Donnie Brasco, Wag the Dog, Volcano, a bunch of movies. And there is put into the ambulance to take to the hospital that his driver was identified as Anne Heche. You can see we slowed it down a little bit for you as uh, firefighters were trying to help this woman uh, get the help that she needed uh, from the hospital as she crashed into this house and, and the fire, like you heard just me say a little bit ago, they were trying to put that out. Of course, we are still trying to track down some details on how that happened and why it happened uh, and an update on Anne Heche as well. Uh, but the details right now are that driver identified. This day, December 14th, 2022, the anniversary of a major tragedy 10 years ago. And one of the headlines this morning is another tragedy. A young man from the world of entertainment, Stephen Twitch Boss, the DJ and producer of the Ellen DeGeneres show, and also made a name for himself on the show, So You Think You Can Dance, has died for unknown reasons at age 40. And this is the second big death connected to Ellen DeGeneres in this year, 2022. Of course, we had Anne Hesch, who died in a very mysterious way this summer. Everyone saw her being loaded into the ambulance, sitting up, looking fine. And then, of course, she was reported to be on life support, and then the plug was pulled on her on August 14, 2022. They're saying Stephen Twitch Boss died yesterday, December 13th. And if you're new here, this channel is called Gematria Effect News. That strange word at the beginning, Gematria, comes from the Jewish practice of Kabbalah. It's the ancient practice of coding numbers into words. And again, look into the songs Gematria, the killing name, and the song Murder by Numbers by the Police, where killing's as simple as A, B, C is one, two, three. We talked about why Anne Hesh had the plug pulled or on Ellen's 201st day of her age, 201. And we also have talked a lot about that number, 201, in regards to many suspicious deaths in history and in regards to many important events like the Event 201 coronavirus pandemic simulation one month before the outbreak. But anyhow, Anne Hesh had the plug pulled her on Ellen's 201st day of her age. Now Stephen Twitch Boss is dead 201 days after the last episode of the Ellen DeGeneres show. And in the language of Gematria, for example, DJ has the value of 40, and the DJ is dead at 40. We're going to look at all of the Gematria significance in this death, because again, if you study this simple language of ABC as 1, 2, 3, you can see through these rituals, these unexplained deaths, that are presented to us day after day. So, Stephen Twitch Boss. I almost just want to st start with the nickname, which is spelled with a lowercase t and a capital W, and you see the word witch inside of it. We actually talked about this with Anne Hesh's passing earlier this year. She was loaded into an ambulance with the number 63 on it. 63 sitting up and just such a bizarre story nothing about this story made sense but loaded into number 63 and notice how in gematria abc 123 and hash equals 63 and when you use the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology mini cooper equals 63 that was part of the story that she was driving her mini cooper again this is ellen degeneres's ex-girlfriend for younger people ellen kind of you know, Ellen really helped normalize homosexuality in our society. And, um, you know, Ellen's a hero to a lot of peop people for that reason. But yeah, for you younger people, I mean, she was like one of the first celebrities that was out there and openly gay. And um, a lot of people thought that was really cool. People like my sister. My sister's a huge Ellen fan. But anyhow... Notice how the word witch is also 63. And if you're new here, you can see the four values of witch. 63, 27, 72, 27. If you use... The, those are the four base ciphers. The alphabetic order is where witch equals 63. A is 1 up to Z is 26. 
the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. So A still one, B still two, C still three. It just changes when you get to the double digit letter. So J is the first double digit letter. J is the 10th letter. The numerology of 10 is one plus zero is one. So J would be worth one in the blue cipher where it'd be worth 10 in the green cipher. K, the 11th letter would become one plus one is two. So K would be two in the blue cipher. Again, K would be 11 in the green cipher. The next cipher is just running the alphabetic order in reverse. Z is one back to A is 26. And the last cipher is the reverse alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. So just doing the same thing to the alphabetic order forwards and backwards. But you can see how witch and broom are the exact same in all four base ciphers. So, you know, we, we were wondering about this. Is this some kind of is this some kind of magical ritual that they're doing with Anne Hesh loading her into ambulance number 63? And if you think that sounds silly, let me make the next point because witchcraft is part of Kabbalah. That there's a good side to Kabbalah, which is about understanding the relationship with you and Creator and Earth. And then there's another side of Kabbalah that's known as the evil half, the clip off, which is about sorcery and witchcraft. And um, again, this is Jewish mysticism. So I just want you to notice how Jewish mysticism has that gematria of 201. Right, Anhesh gets the plug pulled on the 201st day at Helen, Ellen's age, and now 201 days after the show concludes, the DJ is dead. And, and understand if you're new here, very big pattern with 201. The society that's really embraced this number is the Jesuit order, 201, which were Jews who converted to Catholicism in the time of the Protestant Reformation, which brought Jews and Catholics together because Europe led by Martin Luther, had a movement against those two religions that were kind of ruling over the people. And again, if you don't know the history of the Jesuits, their founders, Ignatius of Loyola, whose name's 201. Right now we're living in the time of the first Jesuit Pope, Pope Francis, like the Jesuits are from France. His birth name's Jorge Mario Bergoglio, which equals 201. He's also the first Pope to live in suite 201 at the Vatican. And um, his room even has a name. It's called the Domus Sancte. Marte, which is also 201. So anyway, 201, huge number with the Jesuits, who are a Jewish Catholic alliance. This knowledge of gematria comes from Jewish mysticism. And uh, again, just follow the pattern. So when you run the alphabetic order in reverse, DJ is 40. The DJ is dead at 40. Big number in this nation as well. Um, United States in the most pure ciphers, 40. Get US is 40. You know, probably the biggest star in the history of this nation, Michael Jackson. He turned 11 40 days after Apollo 11, 40 days after the moonwalk. Comes the moonwalker. And notice that from Ellen's birthday to this man's death, he died December 13th, was her 322nd day of her age. That's the number. So that's the number associated with Yale Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones is a big 201 society modeled after the Knights Templar. The Templar cross is in the modern Jesuit logo. Paul Walker, who starred in The Skulls about Skull and Bones, that movie came out 201 days after his birthday. He gets a red Porsche in the film, ends up dying in a mysterious way in a red Porsche. Five years to the day of George Herbert Walker. Paul Walker, George Herbert Walker Bush dying, number 41. Skull and Bones equals 41. Um, but anyhow... 322nd day of her age, which is also the 46th week of her age. Genesis begins with a sacrifice, or Genesis 46 begins with a sacrifice. The word sacrifice is 46. Again, her DJ is now dead. And um, again, the last episode was May 26th of her show. From that day to the death, 201 days. And that also means that from today to her upcoming birthday is 44 days later, and she's currently 64 years old. Ellen Kill has the Gematria 44 forward, 64 in reverse. The day they pulled the plug on Anne Hesh was August 14th, 22, what we call the kill date for the month because it had numerology of 44 and 64. And from the day that they pulled the plug on Anne Hesh to this latest death is 121 days later. Blood sacrifice, 121. Again, these are all familiar patterns that we see in celebrity death over and over. Um, his nickname, Twitch, which has the witch in it. Notice how it's 837934. Look at murder. 837934. Talking about these same numbers all the time. Murder by Numbers, the movie poster from Hollywood. 
a film that released on the day that Ignatius Loyola became the first leader of the Jesuits. You have the orange seven and nine around the words, like 79 like murder, like twitch. You have the E coded as a three and the B is a eight, 3883. Eight, Again, murder 3883. The song Murder by Numbers in 83. The movie stars Sandra Bullock, 83. Again, film came out on April 19th, Day of Tragedy in History, Ignatius of Loyola Day. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, 83. Remember the Oklahoma City bombing on that day, blamed on Timothy McVeigh, whose name equals 201. There, there's so much to say about all these things, but th these numbers are connected all throughout history. That film came out 38 weeks after Sandra Bullock's 37th birthday, which was the day she began her 38th year of life. Again, when you turn 37, you begin your 38th year of life. In, in the film, if you watch it, you'll notice they put the date March 8th right on the screen, 3883 date. As for them breaking this news on the 14th, Again, they break the news the day after the death. Notice his name, Stephen Boss, is 43, which is the 14th prime number. They break it on the 14th, his sudden death. Dead is 14. Stephen Boss does also have the 56 in it, like Black Lives Matter, like Society of Jesus, formal title of the Jesuits. And from his own birthday, September 29th to his death, was his 76th day of his age. Again, we see this number all over history when it comes to black history. Slave 76, Negro 76, Blue 76, Ross to 76. Again, dead 44 days before Ellen's birthday. Remember, the 44th book of the Bible is Acts. Acts 76 is about 400 years of slavery. You know, the, the nation's first president that was black. Number 44, Barack Obama, whose name equals 76, who put out the book A Promised Land, which equals 59 and 76 just like Slave does, just like Negro does, just like Blues does, just like Rasta. And you see how a lot of those words have the 14 and 76, including Slave. Again, they break the news on the 14th about the death of this man on the 76th day of his age. You know, these days, we're all kind of slaves because if you want to exist in society, you got to give up bodily sovereignty. You know, Obamacare 59, a lot of this happening in the time that his wingman is the President Obama, or excuse me, Biden, who, by the way, was uh, perfectly named to be the VP to number 44, Joe Biden, number 44. Mike Pence was the VP to number 45. Mike Pence, 45 forwards and backwards. Again, Gematria reveals just how rigged the game is. And again, if you still don't get the joke of Donald Trump, Mr. Wall, being announced as the 45th president-elect on the anniversary of the fall, all of the Berlin Wall. knows how Berlin Wall is also 45. It's also 63. 2016 is the 63rd triangular number. It was 2016, the anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, that he was called the 45th president-elect early November 9th. Notice how rituals 27 and 45. It was the 27-year anniversary of the fall of the wall that they did that. Jesuit educated Trump, Jesuit educated Biden, Jesuit educated pretty much everyone in the Oval Office. And yeah, he wasn't just the DJ. At the end of the show, he was the producer of the show. Ellen and Stephen Twitch Boss were the producers the last two years of the show. And um, yeah, another, another thing distributed by Warner Brothers. We were just talking about what they did with uh, the singer from... Fleetwood Mac the other day in the clear murder ritual. Just to remind you that Warner has the same gematria as murder. 79348338. Exact same as murder. 79348338. Again, if you're new here, we talk about these patterns <laughs> sadly all the time because these types of rituals by this same number code are happening all the time. But yeah, also just to go back and uh, revisit Anne Hesh's death. Again, Ann Hesh had the plug pulled on on the 201st day of Ellen's age on the kill date for the month. Now this man's dead with the same kill numbers 201 days after the show concludes. But this was the date numerology for the day the plug was pulled on Ann Hesh, August 14th, 2022. Again, once a month you'll have date numerology that adds up to 44, 64, 28, sometimes 17. But by the way, this news breaking today about her DJ today leaves 17 days left in the year. Again, Ellen's 64 right now. He died 44 days before her upcoming birthday. And by the way, just with regards to the Skull and Bones connection, it synced up with her upcoming 65th birthday. 
Yale is 65. Again, that's where Skull and Bones is. And again, Yale also has that 43 like Stephen Boss. Yeah, uh, they coded, we have a lo loss to Bright Light when she died. That's a big number in LA. LA, I call it the 118 city because it's on the 118th Meridian West. Los Angeles, California equals 118. It's date of establishment, September 4th, the day leaving 118 days left in the year. In Jewish gematria, death and homicide are 118. Um, at the time that Anne Hesh was loaded into ambulance number 63, where her name's 63, like we just talked about, you also had the Another World actress dead at the same time from cervical cancer. And um, again, just how that word witch factors in. Anne Hesh, 63, dead in the Mini Cooper. Um, you also had Olivia Newton John die by the numbers at that time, who played Sandy in Greece. So there was a 63 overload at the time that Anne Hesh died. Again, a number that connects a lot to witch. And now we got Twitch with a capital W spelled with witch right in the word. And, and notice how all of those um, numbers break down to nine. Six plus three is nine. Two plus seven is nine. Seven plus two is nine. Two plus seven is nine. All the gematria values of witch and broom. Um, they made a point in the death of Stephen Voss that he just celebrated days ago the ninth anniversary of his marriage. He just celebrated the ninth anniversary. Nine is completion. So, the couple celebrated their ninth wedding anniversary just days ago. And I didn't even look into the wife. I don't know if she's a celebrity, too. I'm not familiar with her name. Hoker Boss. Take a look at that real quick. Another world was also connected to Anne Hesh. But yeah, there it was. From Ellen's birthday to the day they pulled the plug, the 201st day of her age. So second time this year, we're talking about a death right next to, or connected to Ellen DeGeneres. And um, the exact same pattern. Same kill numbers. Same 201 big Jesuit number. And... Just out of curiosity, I'll look up who the wife is in case she is also in the world of celebrity. Hoker Boss. I don't know if that's the same person. This is Allison Hoker. Or I guess it is. Allison Renee Hoker Boss is an American dancer, choreographer, and actress. She is known from her appearance on the television dance competition, so you think you can dance? Okay, so I imagine with her husband. Season 2 and an all-star in season 11, 7, 11, and 14. Wow, there's a lot of seasons... Look how old she is right now, you guys. Look how old the wife is. The wife is 34. I was just talking about this with the word murder. So the wife is 34. For the record, 34 is the ninth Fibonacci number in light of them saying they just celebrated the ninth anniversary of their marriage. She was born February 6th. Here, let's just see how it lines up with her date of birth. February 6, 2022. He died December 13th. So, 44 weeks after her birthday, right? But notice that also means that he died on her 311th day of her age. That's the 64th prime number. So, 44 weeks and days, or 311 days, which is the 64th prime number, and kill is 44 and 64. And again... Deadwall Ellen, 64, 44 days before her birthday. Again, this stuff is always wicked. And, and the way it always lines up so perfectly, it, it, again, it's why I continue to think these people are in arranged marriages. And, you know, maybe Stephen Boss didn't realize what he was getting into when he got married but his expiration date might have been written for december 13th without him even knowing the day that you know he was celebrating his wedding with her her full name has the gematria 129 that is the number 201 in base 8 counting 
big combo with 129 and 201. It's just like the nation's first Jesuit university is Georgetown, 129. So her full name is 129, which has the 201 connection. Here she looks like she goes by Allison Hoker, just out of curiosity. Those numbers are interesting, but um, we'll just stick to the ones that we've focused on so far. 